finally, let's hear more from the host of the event, Pastor Kim Lyons, founder of Kim Lyons Ministry and author of 21 Days of Prayer Impact. She also will be speaking with some incredible things to say. Take a moment now and take a moment to listen to her. In this morning's text, we find Peter and John going to the temple uh, after their upper room experience. In chapter 1, uh, Jesus, he visits them after uh, the resurrection. He, he resurrect and then he comes and he meets with his disciples and apostles. And for 40 days, he shows them infallible proofs that, that he was indeed alive and had, had a, a, a rose. And, and then not only that, but he talks to them. Uh, the, the text says about uh, the kingdom of God. He, he, he reinforced that, that the kingdom of God was coming. And, and being assembled together with him, he commanded them. He commanded them not to leave the city but to stay and to wait on the promise the promise the promise he said wait on the promise and the promise was in, in Acts chapter 1 that you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem and in all Judea, Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth and so he tells them I'm getting ready to leave but I want you to wait here for the power uh, in essence, he, he's saying, I, I want you to wait here until the force is released, until the power, the ability of God is released. And so they stayed in the upper room waiting on the promise of the word from God. They waited in the upper room, and, and the word of God says they were praying. Uh, they were expecting, and they were waiting, and they were believing, believing, because how many of you know when God gives you the word, you should expect it. Oh, you should bank on it. You should count on it. You should rely on it. You should expect it. You should believe it. When God gives you a word, you should expect it to come to pass. Uh, Matthew tells us in chapter 5, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all is fulfilled. In essence, my word is going to be fulfilled. Oh, his word is solid as a rock. Oh, when everything else appears to fail and fade in your life, you can trust in his word. You can believe his word. The word of God says that it won't, his word, it won't return back void. Oh, the word says it won't return back empty. In essence, it won't return back in your life unfulfilled. In essence, it's going to accomplish, it's going to succeed in your life, the very thing that God has purposed and ordained to take place in your life. Oh, God's word is solid as a rock. And what I've discovered is that his word moving in your life may not look like his word moving in my life. Oh, but it's working. Oh, don't be deceived because your healing in your life uh, may look a little different than the healing that's taking place in my life. Oh, don't be deceived by the word because it's working for you. Oh, your prosperity in your life, it may look different working in my life. Uh, but you best believe that God's word is working. It won't return back empty. It won't return back void. It won't return back unfulfilled. It's going to accomplish what God has purposed for your life. So don't measure the word by my life. Uh, you need to measure the word by the activity of your life. Hallelujah. Because it's word, it's working, it's working, it's working. And so they waited in the upper room. And the word of God says that they were on one accord. They were single-minded. And they were believing for the same experience. They were believing for the promise to come in the room. They were praying, they were waiting, they were expecting, and they were believing. And suddenly, the word of God says, a sound from heaven rushed through the room. Oh, and it was powerful. Pastor Kim Lyons, along with Dr. Medina Pullings and Real Talk Kim, ready to encourage ladies in this area, July 14th and 15th. And of course, anybody is welcome to come, not just locally. It's the Embracing God's Glory Own It Women's Conference. And there is still time for you to register. Visit InFaithMinistries.org or call 419-225-8871.